channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make ginger snaps. Yay! I am in my kitchen, which means it's time to do a baking video. Ooh, ooh. So um, I don't think I mentioned this on my channel, but I really love baking. Um, baking is really fun for me. Um, and the best part is that you get a delicious dessert at the end to eat, which is awesome. So if you're ready and you want to learn how to make ginger snaps, then keep on watching. So being me, of course, I have to have cookie on my scarf for the entire video. Please excuse my cookie scarf. Thank you, and continue watching. You're going to want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, or if you use convect bake, use 325. Also, you're going to line your baking sheet with parchment paper so that our cookies don't stick. So for the ingredients, you're going to take three quarters of a cup of butter, a cup of sugar, a half a cup of molasses, one egg, two and a half cups of flour, two teaspoons of baking soda, two teaspoons of ginger, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, quarter of a teaspoon of nutmeg, and a pinch of salt. Also, you can just pause this video. It's probably easier than what I'm doing right now. So I'm going to be using the KitchenAid for my mixing because it's much easier than mixing by hand. I already tried to make them, made them like this, but I did the steps wrong and we can't have that. And also I forgot to put cinnamon in these, which um, I'm not sure how these are going to taste, but anyways, <laughs> making another batch because why not? Um, and yeah, if you don't have a KitchenAid, then feel free to hand mix because that is Completely just as fine. I made those ones hand mixing. I just made him wrong. Anyways, I'm gonna make these ones right. Second time's a charm, right? Yes. Off, I'm going to take three quarters of a cup of butter, and they're already in the mix off. And I'm going to cream it with the sugar. And I'm taking one cup of sugar. And we're gonna mix. So now that that's all nice and creamed together, I'm going to take half a cup of molasses. So if you're like me and you have trouble getting all the molasses out of your bowl, you can take a silicone spatula to help get all of the molasses out of the bowl and into the other bowl that you're mixing it in. I'm just going to take an egg. going to mix that all together. I'm going to add the rest of our dry ingredients. Two teaspoons of baking soda, two and a half cups of flour. It would probably be smart to slowly add this in, but I'm just going to... So two teaspoons of ginger, one teaspoon of cinnamon, and I put a quarter of a teaspoon of nutmeg in there as well. And I'm just going to take a pinch of salt for taste because if you don't know what salt does, I'm going to tell you. Salt adds or brings out the flavor in other things. I know everyone's just like, oh no, salt's really bad for you. It is really bad for you, but it brings out the flavors. And especially because we're adding so many rich flavors like nutmeg and cinnamon and ginger and we got the molasses in there. We really want those flavors to come out in our food. And of course, now I'm just going to mix it. Now that our cookie dough is all nice and amazing, um, I'm going to take our cookie sheet with parchment paper and I'm going to take a cookie scoop, but you can use a tablespoon or a regular spoon for this. Just get about a tablespoon worth of cookie and you're good to go. So I'm just going to take a scoop of the cookie scooper thing and then make thing and I'm just going to roll it up into a ball and I'm going to coat it with more sugar because it makes it look pretty and also it yeah it just makes it look pretty and it's awesome so then you're going to just put it on the sheet and cook for 10 to 12 minutes and that is it it is so easy and um, yeah I'm going to line 12 per sheet this makes six dozen and um, yeah that's pretty much it. So if you are making your cookies and you're rolling them in your hands and you realize that the dough is sticking to your hands, a good tip is to wash your hands with cold water because it'll make your hands 
cold, and then it will make the dough so sticky and you will your hands. Tips. Oh my gosh! Yes! Woohoo! And this is what the cookies look like. I don't want to drop them, but they look amazing. They... Uh... Hello. Okay, let's try them. So good. So yes, this is how you make these cookies. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you do try it out, please let me know in the comments below what you think of them. Because... I think they're really awesome and plus the cracks in the cookies actually make them look really cute cute awesome oh my gosh I dropped the cookies so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one bye